Hey, Hud like Charlie here. I just got back from Oxark with my uh, rebuilt Harris uh, gas regulators for my oxycetylene. So we're, I'm going to uh, put those on the tank, show you how to set them up. Okay, uh, we're going to put these uh, rebuilt uh, gauges and regulators back on, uh, on my old tanks. This set is an old Harris set and uh, it was redone by Oxark in Spokane. Vintage set. Anyhow, we're going to show you uh, how to properly put, install the gauges on the tanks. Uh, acetylene is always marked with this, uh, with the notch nut, so you know that that's the. Uh, and then, normally, if you pan down over here, uh, you'll see that the oxygen tank is almost always larger than the acetylene tank. It takes more gas. So. Uh, since these were just rebuilt and they're capped, I'm going to assume that they don't need to be cleaned out. Uh, but uh, remove the protective cap. Okay, this is the uh, this is the oxygen, so it's going to go right here on the green tank. And these gauges, uh, they they screw on opposite too. That's in order. To Another redundancy to eliminate confusion. So, uh, this one turns counterclockwise. So, then we get these on and just kind of lightly tighten them up. Uh, it's brass, so it should seal uh, naturally. Um, I would say probably three, four pounds of torque at the most, not a lot. Okay. Okay, so we're going to put the uh, hoses on now onto our regulators. And again, they turn in opposite directions. Okay, then uh, bring our hose back up, and we're going to be doing brazing rather than uh, than cutting. So we're going to put just put the uh, put the brazing tip on. It's a good idea to have your gauges and your uh, have your setups rebuilt from time to time takes away a lot of worry about bad things happening so this is a vintage about 1968 or 69 Harris oxycetylene outfit my dad bought when I was a kid actually so uh, we've got a uh, Got a number five tip on here. I don't know that we're going to be brazen with a number five, but that's what's on here right now. We'll probably put a smaller tip on for the job that we're going to do. But this is uh, <clears throat> I prefer to have my my tip going away from my valves when I do my setup. Some people do it. Some people go this way. Anyways, personal preference. Saying it doesn't matter. Okay, so be sure to tighten up these hoses. So I don't know if I've got the right size here, but. I usually close up my valves first and then make sure these are open before we get ready to turn it on. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. When you turn it on your valves, you want to turn your acetylene on anywhere from a quarter to a third of a turn. 
So in case you have to turn it off real quick, you can. Oxygen, on the other hand, open it all the way up and then turn it back a third or a half turn. Okay. Now those are ready. Now go ahead. You can see the gauges. This tank here is up over 2,000. Uh, the acetylene tank is up about what 160, about 160 or so. It's not quite as full. Anyhow, so then to set your uh, to set your your gauges, your regulators where you want them for your pressure, uh, just as a rule of thumb, goes uh, five to seven pounds. Usually, I like to run it at at seven. That's a good all-purpose pressure. Oxygen, uh, anywhere from uh, 10 to 12. If I'm running 7 on here, I run 12 or 13 on the oxygen. That's just a good all-purpose all setting, both for uh, brazing, welding, and cutting. So, so uh, and when you, when you set this now, you want to have your gauge open. So we're going to set the oxygen. So we open up our oxygen valve and then turn this in. And we turn this in up to about 10 pounds open, and it's running. And we turn it up right about there. I guess that'd be about 20, actually. We'll start it at 20. We may move it back down, depending on how, oxidation, how much oxidizing flame we have. Okay, to do the acetylene, we... Uh, have our uh, oxygen turned off, turn on the acetylene valve and then clockwise turn in your regulator to where this starts coming up and it's running you can feel the air coming out or the acetylene run that up to about seven pounds right about there and then go ahead and turn that off and it'll usually bounce it up then to, uh, to about eight pounds so if you want to set it with the gauge off, it's best to open your valve when you're setting your, your gas pressures. So that's about it. Uh, about 12 pounds on, on the uh, oxygen and about 7 pounds on the acetylene. Thanks for watching, and uh, if you like this little simple video, give us a like.